look, he comes cause of all ill. Men in Asia curse him still. Long shall the gods. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Bendit. There's a lot to talk about. Ah, there he is. Welcome back to the land of the living. Quite a little place you've got here. A bit small, but part of everything. Anyway, you've kept me waiting for quite a while now, Mr. Benedict, and I dubitably hope you can indulge me as to why that is. <laughs> indubitably. Indulge. <coughs> you are no gentleman. Would. You're not even human. Your heart is as black as coal. It's not entirely untrue. Hand! Ah! Now, I fulfilled the request that you came to me for. And when I say came, I mean groveled. Do you remember it? You were on your hands and knees. It was quite adorable. I fulfilled that request, and yet, I find myself waiting for my side of the bargain. You never said it was my daughter. The deal was quite clear, Mr. Benedict. I remove all your competition for the role of finance minister. And in return, you hand over one of your treasured possessions. She's not a possession. But you do possess custody rights, do you not? And Alison, isn't she such a little treasure? Hmm? Semantically, I'm correct. I'm not taking her. What, what do you even want with her? She's a little girl. Oh, nothing at all. She's just a handhold for me to pull the strings, Mr. Puppet Minister. You can't take her. That's the thing. I don't have her. She just got picked up from kindergarten by her new favourite uncle, where she was complaining about her tummy ache, tummy or something like that. Kids. That happened about one minute after our conversation started. Hmm. I wouldn't stress. I'm doing you a favor. I mean, imagine the reaction of your constituents and your reputation if they knew you had a child at that age. Pulse would be an absolute front bar. Oh, <laughs> Calculate your next move very carefully, Mr. Benedict. If not for your sake, then for little Allison's. I'd hate for anything to happen to her. Until then, hurrah. Stay healthy. Don't do drugs. <laughs> 